In battle, Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu met the U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo in Lisbon with Iran on the top of the agenda. The Israeli Prime Minister on Wednesday praised the tough American sanctions on Iran, saying the financial pressure has sparked protests against Tehran's influence across the region and urging even stronger action. First of all, I'm delighted again to see Secretary Pompeo. Uh, the first subject that I will raise is Iran. The sub second subject is Iran, and so is the third, and many more. But uh, I think that we have been fortunate that uh, President Trump has led a consistent policy of pressure against Iran. Iran is increasing its aggression as we speak, even today, uh, in the region. Uh, they're trying to uh, have staging grounds against us and the region, from Iran itself, from Iraq, from uh, Syria, from Lebanon, Gaza, uh, and Yemen. Uh, and we are actively engaged in countering that aggression. Netanyahu, who is uh, facing uh, indictment on graft charges and is embroiled in a number of those uh, corruption cases, has hailed the Trump sanctions. Israel believes they have squeezed the Iranian economy, prompting the government to raise the fuel prices, sparking nationwide protests. Pompeo said that Israel has full American support. In this time where uh, there are anti-Iran protests taking place in Baghdad, uh, anti-Iranian protests taking place in Beirut, uh, and we all know what's going on in Iran itself. These are people that are seeking freedom and a uh, reasonable way to live, and they recognize the threat that is posed by the, uh, the kleptocrats that are running uh, the Islamic Republic of Iran. So we talked with our European partners about that and how we can together uh, ensure that we do everything we can uh, to create opportunity for these people who simply want freedom and the chance to live a normal life. And so I look forward to talking to you about that and a handful of other things today. And this meeting was the first between the two since Pompeo announced last month that the United States no longer considered Jewish settlements in the West Bank to be illegal. The announcement broke with decades of international consensus that the settlements are illegal and a major barrier to peace with the Palestinians. Our West Asia Bureau Chief Daniele Pagani is joining us for more on that. Daniele, what to you is the larger message that emerges from the statements that have been made by the two leaders there? First of all, this is uh, yet another time a uh, clarification of how strong the ties between the current U.S. administration and Israel and particularly Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu are. Clearly, Iran was on top of the agenda, will be on top of the agenda for the months and perhaps the years to come. There is other all that has been discussed during this meeting. One is the attempt that Benjamin Netanyahu made to secure even more support towards the potential annexation of the settlements in the Jordan Valley. But most importantly, and perhaps this is why the Prime Minister of Israel rushed to Lisbon to meet uh, Mike Pompeo, is a treaty, a bilateral defense treaty between the United States of America and Israel. A treaty that many United States presidents and Israeli prime ministers have never managed to sign for many reasons. One is that Israelis believe that it actually will limit their actions and the Americans also believe there is no need for that since Israel already enjoys full American support in any of the campaign. But this is something that Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu would desperately need if he wants to stand a chance a form to win the elections. A formal defense treaty between Washington and Tel Aviv could definitely make him a winner in terms of international relations and hence win back some of the trust that he lost when he was indicted. Absolutely. And let's also speak uh, in more detail about what's happening in Israel. Now, he is facing, though, uh, he's embroiled in those corruption cases. And at the same time, there is a lot of uncertainty over where Israel is headed, politically speaking. 
Absolutely, yes. As a matter of fact, it seems that the country is definitely heading towards a third round of election. Avigador Lieberman, the former defense minister of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, said that he tried till the very last minute to bridge the gap between the two largest parties, but that there is no possibility to negotiate a unity government or even a narrow majority for a potential government. So it seems that as of now, Israel is going to a third round of elections. Will Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu stand a chance? A lot depends on what he can actually manage between Israel and the United States of America, but it seems that these elections will not play in his favor. The indictment will play a huge role in the voters' mind, particularly the right-wing voters that used it to support him.